Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT based wrong posture recognition system. So here the main features are like we are going to identify the postures whether the person was uh, set properly or not with the help of this gyroscope. So we are using MPU6050 gyroscope and based on the position we have coded the node MCU in order to check the person was in right direction or not. If it is not in right direction then the first step is the system will provide the vibration alerts from these vibrators. So two vibrators we have attached to the node MCU through this transistor board. So this transistor board is used to control these vibrators. And the next step is it will provide us the stimulations with the help of this step up transformers and these probes. So these probes has to be mounted on the person body and then it will provide us the stimulations. So these are the probes we are using, suction cups directly mount them on the, uh, the person called person body then it will provide us the stimulations to him to sit in uh, like perfect posture and also it will send the message alert if the person was fell so the same that will be identified by this uh, uh, MPU6050 gyroscope when the person was fell in a faster manner then the system will send the message alerts to the registered phone number and the next step is, is continuously upload the X, Y, Z parameters to the ThinkSpeak cloud platform. <coughs> right, so now these are ThinkSpeak cloud platform. After logging to the channel, just click on this. There you get the previous data. So field one is a x-axis, and field two is a y-axis, and field three is a z-axis. So these are the parameters which we have uh, uploaded in while we testing one. So if you want to download this, or if you want to get the fresh data. So better to download before erasing that. To download the data, data import exports, download. After successfully download, you can open that in Excel sheet format. So it consists of date and time, how many samples till now collected. So there's a number of samples till now collected. And the first, second, third is a X, Y, Z. Right, so after you took the backup, now directly go to channel settings and in that do clear channel. Right, once the channel got cleared successfully, now go to private view to check the live parameters. Right, now the next step is we need to on the art spot. Before on the kit, uh, then we need to do some uh, follow the, some mm -hmm. steps. For that go to hotspot settings of your phone and uh, uh, change the hotspot name to project 5797 with your tony space without any space without any calculator and password should be 12345678 and ABVAN should be 2.4 gigahertz after enable the hotspot and data uh, better to turn off hotspot and uh, disable this and now hotspot got switched on and log into the thing speak and also messages we have received previously right so these are the messages we have received previously fall alerts and now let us stay on this uh, message section and mount these cups on your body right and the next step is insert a valid sim card into this GSA module so here this is going to be the push to lock and push to unlock and insert that in this manner with my if you are using the my nano sim card use the micro sim card adapter and keep the battery under fully charged so this is a charging section connect the B type over here the red light will blinks uh, showing the status of battery charging once the blinking completes and it will the continuously on so that's the indication of battery is fully charged right and after that, this is the main on off switch. So before on that, uh, on the hotspot, insert the SIM card, keep this in perfect manner. Now let us see this. Right, now let us see that. So it's normal position and uh, on this, okay, wait, you will get the beep. So from the beep, you will get the buzzer indication once the initialization is done, right. right. Okay, it's normal now. So the person was very normal. So when the person was bent somehow a little bit, then <laughs> you will get the vibrations. <laughs> Sorry. Right. And coming to the fall direction also. I'll remove this. 
the only normal basic stimulation is used for the muscles also. And now on this, let me check, uh, show you the fall reduction. So while demonstrating the fall reduction, wait for 10 to 15 seconds means we need to provide the time to the GSM module to get the signal. Right, after time completion, you will get the beeps. And now, so if the, the system will send the directly message alert. Okay. Let buzzer on, first of all, it will send the message alerts. So the system keep on sending the message alerts. So we got the message. Right, come now. First one. Or those who like uh, to this number pass, pass me the... right now let me explain you the connections uh, so we have interfaced this uh, like gyroscope at a4 sorry that is sda scl pins of our node mcu and this one is connected to the d5 and the d6 is connected uh, this vibrator connected to the d5 and d6 the pin is connected to the buzzer and d7 the pin is connected to this stimulation electromagnetic relay so the, how the stimulation works nothing but so this 5 volts uh, which is coming from this 3.7 volts so we are using 3.7 volts two number batteries which are connected in parallel so we will get 5600 milliamps of current from this battery pack which is rechargeable through this uh, like boost converter so which will take 3.7 volts and provide as a 5 volts dc output to this breadboard and from this breadboard we are distributing that throughout the input and output modules directly so that same 5 volts is fed as input to this step up transformer for the stimulation purpose which is uh, very safe only not any harmful to the body and this relay is used to provide the pulses nothing but the 5 volts DC is converter into 5 volts AC signal with the help of this relay circuit and after that the 5 volts AC is step up to the around 120 volts with low current so to this probes directly so from there we will getting the uh, stimulation to the body directly and the GSM model is connected to the transmitting pin of our node MCU right so the, these are the values we have received while we are testing from this one right